G'day, fellas, and welcome to more Beyond All Reason gameplay. I'm going to be playing Hovers today. It's going to be the first time that I'm doing it. I'm excited to see how it goes. I played up against uh, somebody who was true skill rating 50, and they opened with Hovers against me, and it absolutely destroyed me. So I said, you know what? We're going to do the same thing. We're going to look to try and get out early on the map, go for some quick Hovers, and then we're going to be going into Tier 2 almost immediately after that. So... I'm opening up with the hover lab here, and then I'm just going to be putting down a whole bunch of wind. Now, I want to make sure that I put everything down in the correct position. So I'm just going to be really a stickler for base building right now. So I think that should be... Let's go back a little bit right there, just so that we guarantee that we're in. Hopefully, the commander doesn't intersect with that positioning. Looks perfect. And we're just going to throw down a whole bunch of wind behind this. So let's make sure that we turn up our in-game sound. There we go. So I'm going to start off with... I think one construction hover. And then we're just going to go into 10 seekers. And then we could probably add... I think just the one construction hover will be fine. Because uh, we'll build the nano here. Then we'll go build the mechs. We'll build the nano here. And then we'll build the geo. And I, I think that should be hopefully uh, okay. So we'll have to see exactly how it goes. So nano might come down. I think right here might be a good spot for it. I guess we could always throw it down there. As long as it's within that commander circle. So... Let's, uh, let's wait and see exactly how we go. So, the idea is I want to hit both sides. Um, now, on the enemy team, they've got Dave. Dave is a really good player. You can see his true skill rating is 49. Uh, and so, I've got to watch out for him. But I, I know that he likes to play eco. I know that he likes to boom a lot. So, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to hit him. So, I'm going to try and demoralize him just by hitting his, his teammates. That's essentially the way I'm thinking about it right now. Uh, oh, that we are... We are way too early to be assisting that right there. Actually, you know what? We're at wind 3.9. God, I tell you what, man. I've been getting some terrible wind lately on this map. Four wind. And the thing is, like, because we don't start off with a Lazarus when we're doing this opening. Man, this really, like, I, I think this just really hurt. Oh, look at this. This is crazy. Wait, there's already units in the base. Oh, man. You love to see it. Not even our mechs is a... Dude, I'm at 2.5 wind! Oh, I can't believe this game sometimes, man. So, some days... I'm not even kidding you. Like, you'll have... I mean, what, what do you want me to do? I got no wind, man. What can, what can I do? <laughs> I, I, do I have, to, I have to actually cover out here with my comp right now? I mean, you know what? It kind of works, right? Because he's not doing anything else, is he? He's just sitting here admiring the, the 2.6 wind. Oh, that is, that is... That's not a fun opening. We'll say that much. But at the end of the day, I think everybody's kind of getting hit by by the wind so at least we can we can feel good about that don't tell me the commander's blocking that okay i thought the commander was blocking that i'm like please no oh seriously all right looks like we're, we're getting hit early on here man i i am not having a fun game bro th this <laughs> this is <laughs> oh gosh this this is this is going to be a fun one ladies and gentlemen all right, let, let's see if... I mean, and the thing is, we've kind of been exposed in our strategy as well. That's the other thing to note is, is so now people know Shuriken's finally coming out a little bit late. But I mean, at the end of the day, you, you come through with rovers really quick like that. You, you're going you're gonna to pick up some some nice little kills. So that there's that much to say. Uh, so let's throw this one down here. And then we'll go out to that. Out to, out to our Geo. And now our Commander. I think we just want to help out here. I, I hate that it just automatically repairs. I, I wish it wouldn't repair buildings unless I specifically, like, issued the command to do it. I hate that it kind of defaults to repair as, like, the, the thing. All right, so we've got five hovers out, so I'm going to send these guys down. I think, I, actually, I'm going to send them to the top, even though, because I know that this... Oh, Dave's over here. Okay, let's just go straight towards Dave. Uh, try and ruin his day as much as we can. So if, if we can ruin his day, I think we'll be in a decent spot here. Can you help out with that? And then we'll just go straight over there. Uh, and now I think we also want to be adding in these, but I don't want them. I don't want to go too crazy with it. So we'll get those in from the right. They'll go straight for Dave. It's going to take some time for him to get up. Hopefully he'll reclaim soon as well. That's another thing to note. Let's speaking of reclaim. All right. And I think that's fine. So let's just go up around here. So we want to try and hit both sides. I'm not going to wait for my last guy here. And I think we'll just get one more hover out. Just, just course. Ah, tell you what, man. That, that really, that really, really hurt. W why are we so low on energy at the moment? Maybe it's because we've got the, the two. Oh, I tell you what, Dave. Dave, you're in a bit of trouble here, buddy. What's going on, mate? Now, it looks like the lab's been lost. He's going to throw down the sentry as well. We do see that. 
So I'm just going to make sure I go and collect everything here. Aircraft spotted. All right, so we're starting off well. All right, how's our other side going out here? Wonderful. We can focus on Dave nice and early. Let's get one of these down as well. Okay. Let's hit that. Painful loss right there for Dave. He's definitely done well to get those up. But, we're, but we're, I think we're, we're pretty happy so far with how well we've done here. Let's see if we can try and get these around the backside. These guys are going to come through now. So we want you to come over here. It looks like that guy's got quite a bit on land. All right. Okay, so now let's get our advanced stuff going in here. Let's... Maybe move back a little bit. We might come loop around here. Looks like lasers are up over on that side. All right, so we're drawing away a lot of pressure from the front by doing this as well. Wonderful. Oh, oh, oh. I don't want to get too close. Beautiful. Okay. Wonderful. Oh, you gotta love it. You just gotta, you gotta love this kind of stuff right now. Let's see what else we can find. Maybe we can find some more stuff in. We, we've been doing, I'm, I'm pretty happy so far with this work. Is he reclaiming me? Is that what I'm seeing? We gotta, speaking of reclaim, let's, uh, let's reclaim this. Actually, we can just do that. I think I might just keep my commander up for the moment as well. I got to make sure everybody's doing stuff because I am... All right, I think that's it. So I, I, I reckon I feel like that push did a lot of work. Opening hovers has been very successful here. Uh, let's, let's hit that straight away. So then we'll, we'll go into our advanced construction bot straight away. And I think we just follow it straight um, with Jaguars and we're just going to go for Dave's base. Uh, we probably need to think about this as well. So I, I can look to try and take that out, but... Actually, I think maybe we bring our commander back just for the moment as well. Excuse me. There we go. Cool. So we've got plenty of metal here. Kept the commander alive. We're up at eight minutes, which is not a bad time. Uh, do we put down another nano? I think we probably do. Our energy is absolutely fine. Uh, is that in range? I want to make sure that that's in range. Yeah, it's not in range. No, no, no. Oh, God. They're so... I'm, I'm too quick. Too quick with the fingers. All right, let's... We'll just put it here. It's not the best spot, but... That'll do. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. All right, the, and Commander can come over. He's going to help out with these straight away. Vehicles are always so awkward when you're building them. Now, I don't have any shell shocker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send up a, a couple Mausers here. I think we just go into two Mausers. All right, Commander helping out. And we'll come down here for this one. Maybe just the one Mauser. I mean, two Mausers twice as effective as one. Three is obviously not, so you, you lose value off that on that third one. So let's let's just keep going. We'll just keep going with it. Maybe let, let's just pump out this guy as fast as we can. Man, we are we've got a hundred percent uptime on our on our um um energy converters. Let's bring this down a little bit. Let's move you over here. Cool. So our mouses, we don't want them to come on that angle. Oh my god, look at the front, dude. Look at all the metal that's over here. Oh, I wish I had some Lazarus out now for that. Do I send my hovers forward? I'm kind of tempted. I'm just going to send a hover forward. It's such a big reclaim field, man. Like, I need some of that. Give me the juice, baby. All right, and Commander, you can come down here for now. And then I think we can probably even just go into Jaguars, but we'll just make sure that we've Air got high priority. Detected down here air transport detected it, do we have a little bit of a d gun coming in speaking of d gun i don't even have a, a uh a radar up here i should probably do that just so i've got vision so let's get and we've got our mouses pushing up 
I just... He, it looks like he's got this area jammed as well, but I, I can see stuff, so that's fine. Where are my Mausers? So they came in from the top side. We're not fighting the front very hard. I'm coming in now. I'm coming in now. With T2. So I'm going to just attack on the Gat Gun. Alright, Commander, you're going to come up and help for now. And I was going to put that as a... Pr uh, I think I, I do it as a prude. It's definitely the right call here. Now we can even just look to get the pit bull down. As long as that's in range. No, it's not in range. So we'll do that and then we'll... I can't put the pit bull down. I'll just put it on that side. I think that... that yeah, it's kind of awkward. A lot of metal here. Yeah, dude. Why do, you, where, why do you think I'm up here, man? This is the good stuff. Oh, there we go. Um, so... Where, where's my little... Uh, he's up here. I was, I was wondering. I'm like, where is that guy? So I think we can probably just keep expanding out with our nanos as well. Oh my lord, what happened to our energy? Is it because we're building the prude? I think it might be because we're building the prude. And then we tried to build a nano at the same time. That, that was not a good idea. I should have been more aware. Alright, we need we need to jam. Oh, we, let's push here. I'm just going to say push. Because I killed a gat. So we can just push this. We can clear it out. I'm up to nine Jaguars at the moment. I think I probably want to go to about 14 or 15. The commander's on the front as well. If we can hit that commander, then there's no risk of D-gun. Okay, so now we're, now we're just clear to go. So it is. we're just going to cancel that. And I think now we behind this, we're going to expand. So let's let's throw in... Oh man, I tell you what. Th these, um, these hovercrafts have got a really long range of building. You don't have any forgiveness whatsoever uh, when it comes to, to putting those down. Let's get our advanced bot up here as well. Even though I kind of want to put down... Do I just chuck down the Arblist? Maybe I throw down an Arblist here as well. Oh man, you can see the metal starting to stack up right now. Alright, let's 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 see if we can break through. If we can get through, we're just going to go straight and hit Dave. I'm kind of tempted to even get some Crocs out. Uh, let's go into a Fusion. We'll go into double Fusion here. And let's make sure we try and pop that metal down quickly. The storage. Don't want to get blocked. No, I'm not. Don't you say that, lady. I'm kind of tempted just to go straight into Aphis here. Alright, I don't know what Dave is up to at the moment. And to be honest, I'm really not that keen to find out. I'm just going to remove these from the auto group. And... Did we lose our hover on the front? No, we didn't. So we're going to come up the rear here. We've got the, the lightning tanks. So we're going to go for a big split now as well. Just to reduce the risk of D-Gun. Try and come across the face here. Just making sure that we go for their best player. I might just send one up here. That's looking like a pretty juicy base. Oh yeah. GG gets called. That's it, baby. 10 lightning tanks coming in. 13 minutes into the game. I tell you what. I got to love a little bit of lightning right there. How you doing, boys? Let's, let's, let's get that down. We're going straight into the base of Dave. You just got to focus down the, the top, the, the better players. That feels good. That feels really good. Let's make sure that we clean that out. Dave fought hard until the bitter end. There he goes. Their top player surrendering. I, I tell you what, I feel like our hovers were instrumental in this game. They were able to delay the enemy's best opponent. We really slowed him down quite a bit. It brought up a huge amount of space on the front as well because the enemy had to come back and chase us. And as a result, it just meant that our front bought, was bought a lot of space, a lot of time. We were able to push up. We we're in a wonderful position. And just like that, in 14 minutes, we get so much value from our hovers and finish the game. Look at that. That's that. I, I got to say, I'm loving this. I tell you what, I'm going to be making a few more hovers in my games, ladies and gentlemen. I am impressed with how good that was. Hovers are legit, man. We got to watch the replay. I, I got to see exactly how much we hit them, uh, because that that was kind of disgusting. I'm I'm not gonna lie. That that was that was kind of wild. All right, let, let's have a look and see. I um, I'm I tell you what, man. I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling a little bit of jitters right now about my ho my hovers, dude. Am I a hover player now? <laughs> Here's me like on glitters, just opening hovers. <laughs> so obviously the hovers have got a, a huge advantage and that they can go over the water and that's part of the reason why it's so strong here because you're hitting people from directions that they're not expecting at times they're not expecting 
you know that you're going to get attacked on the water. The thing is that you, you think that it's probably going to be from boats, right? Or it's going to be from, you know, marauders. Something like that. So let's get into it. Hopefully I can hit these skip buttons. There we go. Wonderful. They work. So I think our opening was really solid with the exception of wind. Have a look at wind, okay? Wind is sitting at 19 this whole time, okay? And then all of a sudden, uh, let's have a look how long it stays there. Because this is wild, right? Like the average wind is 14.2. But you got to remember that that's average. And I guess it... <laughs> that came down so quickly, didn't... I don't think I realized. I didn't put two and two together that my wind was at four. And, you know, that that's a skill issue right there. That That's nothing but a skill issue. Um, so we're, we're definitely struggling here. You know, we, we deal with the ro the rovers as well. And you can see that the we're really getting focused down here. The rascals, rather. Uh, they, they come through. And uh, we, we lose a wind. I think we... What else did we lose? I think we just lost the wind in the mech. So it didn't really hit us that bad. It kind of messed with our commander a little bit. You can see, like, my micro is really not that good. I'm reclaiming for some reason. Uh, but, yeah, his micro wasn't the best there either. Um, so that that was fine. So we, we rebuild. It's okay. We will rebuild. You know, sometimes in Melbourne, which is where I live, there's earthquakes. And they're really, really small earthquakes. And people post a picture of, like, a chair falling over. And just the caption is, we will rebuild. I just think of that when I say that. So at the moment, I, I know intimately how this position plays. There's a, a lot of different ways that you can play it, but you can see that I'm really looking to exploit this timing where I was hoping that he had reclaimed his bot lab. I said, okay, if Dave's in this position, I know how he's going to play it. There's a good chance he's going to go for C. He's doing the exact build that Blackwater does. It's the exact same thing. The only difference is he adds in the radar right early, or right here. But even then, like having the radar, you get a little bit of a heads up that this is coming through. Let's ride on board with Dave's perspective and just try and, and, and get a bit of an idea. But because I, I guess that's the thing, right? We know exactly what he's going to do. He feels very safe in this position. You know, he thinks he's only playing against water at most, maybe like a second person. But when this comes through, we see that the response back here should almost be immediately laser turrets that get thrown down. So he throws double laser turrets. But remember, the, the idea is that we don't want to kill him. I mean, if we can kill him, we're trying to do that. But as soon as I became aware that the, the Dave is over here, it, it just it, it, you have to focus their best player, right? You can't leave this guy alone. He just knows how to win games. Of, like, quite evidently, TS49. It is, it is very, very difficult. So we take out the three mexes. I think we get the Conbot in there as well. No, we didn't. We, we just kind of chilled out. So a little bit of a mistake there for me. But I, I don't think we would have gotten it anyway. He had repair as well as the commander to defend. Uh, and then... I, I think the other thing to note is we were really fortunate. Not really fortunate. This, this is all kind of planned in the timing of this. Like, it, it's when we stagger our attacks like this. So I've, I'm attacking Dave, and then I'm going to attack on the other side. And, oh, man, that, that, that hurt really bad. We, we could have actually snuck through there right before this came up. He had really good coverage on his LLTs, though. And I, I think he reacted quite well to the LLTs, but... Th th that's the that's the power of the radar, right? Like, I've, I've played games in this position before where the hovers have hit me, and they just completely destroyed me. So we managed to do that. And then on the other side, you know, we're coming in for round two over here. So th this was really fortunately timed. Uh, and we get, we get great value from this as well. Uh, so we lose the first one to a couple of... Or just to a single laser. So a little bit of a misplay from me there. Uh, but it can be difficult when you're controlling all of these... All of these units in different areas. Even though I, I think I just kind of come back here. The main thing as well to remember is that when you're back home, you just have to have it commands issued to everything just to make sure that your resources aren't going to float too high. And that's what we did. Uh, and uh, so we split everything off and we're just trying to find those high value targets, the uh, energy converters, because they chain react. So we find more energy converters over here. We find energy converters down here and then we bring the hover in. But unfortunately, I think we died to it. Yeah, we died to the Banshee. Uh, yeah, we... Oh my Lord, look at... Look at this guy right back here, man. There, there is, there's more stuff for the taken back there. If we hit that, my lord. Uh, but yeah, we managed to come back over here and you can see we are still having a good time, but we get reclaimed at the end. We, be we become one with... Wait, is there more hovers coming in? Dude, how many hovers would you like? And we, our team is just the hover team right now. I didn't even realize other people were going for hovers. So we, we've bought ourselves so much time. We're, by the way, we're still over here just being a nuisance, man. Look at the repair though. He's out repairing us right now. Well, not really out repairing us. I, we eventually would have gotten it, but... L look how much pressure we pulled off the front. All of these had to come back. These, these were the ones that were dealing with Dave's attack that happened like two minutes ago. So I think that was really powerful. And now, uh, because we've got more people that have, have come through on the front, you can see yellow right now, Pot Pot, has just broken through on that edge. And that's the position that, that Purple's in. So Purple had to cover the raid. And as a result, yellow manages, or Pot Pot manages to come through and just destroys one of their player, completely eliminates him right now. 
uh, and and you know I can't help but feel like we have enabled that. So I think that's that's a massive uh, thing that we need to acknowledge in that position. Uh, but let's let's take a look back towards the base. So I think our timing on T3 was really good. So it was my intention not to kill the comm just because I know that I'm not really looking for an early timing here, but rather I'm just kind of make or setting my goal to go T3. That's that's the big thing, right? I'm saying to myself, I will get, or sorry, T2. I will get T2. It's just that my my plan is to kind of um, get get there slowly, basically. Uh, yeah, the, the build radius on Hovercraft is actually really big. It's much, much bigger than a, uh, than a bot. If we take a look at a bot, actually, is it? No, it doesn't. Uh, does it does it say build radius it doesn't is the commanders uh, i feel like the commanders is the same maybe it's all just all, all the same and it's all in my head oh you know what it might be i think it's that the, the hovercraft is very quick to put down the blueprint whereas like there's a little bit of time that it takes for the uh for the construction bots so the construction bots have to open up and then the blueprint goes down whereas i think the hover might actually have this bad boy out all the time not 100 percent sure though but because i as, as you guys know i have this is the first time i'm using hovers um so uh, is it the first time i'm using hovers i think i've used like the t3 hover before but that's about it uh from from the arm that that's that's all so I think may maybe with this, I could have opened with the two Mausers first and then gone into the advanced construction bot. And then that way I kind of front load my Mausers. I can get them both out back to back. I can begin working on the front here because the idea is that, you know, I'm, I'm going into the Mausers because my front needs artillery because they've got like they're, they're jammed. They've got uh, the Warden is coming up right now. So I, I think that I need to get that, that uh, backline artillery out. Um, but I think that it could probably be a minute faster. So the next time I do this, I would probably go artillery first and then I would go into the T2. And then that just kind of makes things a little bit smoother on that front. But other than that, I feel like it went relatively well. I mean, Dave's still out here pushing. He's recovered. You know, it wasn't a huge hit to him. We kind of delayed the Geo. We delayed the Mexes. Um, and we, we hurt him a little bit here with his uh, energy converters. But I think at the end of the day, he, he's still fine from this position. He can still fight from it. Uh, and he, he's up on, on the water. He's up against a true skill... 20 player um but he fortunately does have th this is i think this is a real true skill 20 player uh just because he he's you know got the three chevrons in there so it means he's quite experienced because uh, one of the things you got to watch out for i don't i know i've mentioned this in a couple more videos but if you look on our team or no, on the enemy team so they have a guy called paximus nothing against you paximus i'm just pointing this out you can see that his true skill rating is 16 but you start at 17 which means that there's a good chance he's just played one game and he's lost which basically means that he's got absolutely no experience so he he is he could be the equivalent of of a true skill rating four or one, but you're paying a true skill sixteen price for him, and I say that because normally when the way that the way that auto balance works, it's based very much off the rating of the player. I don't know whether it um whether it puts the experience of the player into it as well, uh but uh, yeah, I guess that, that that's uh, always important to know. Like I I would take a true skill. 10 player with three chevrons over a true skill 17 player with one chevron just because i know that they're actually going to be a true skill 10 player and i can rely on them at that level uh, so that, that's that's one thing to note so we get the prude up I, i'm pretty happy with the prude timing now who is this guy back here was actually our best eco player uh decardium um I, I did see this so he, he pops off this aphis pretty early let's speed it up i want to see what's his timing timing's not the best but i mean he, he did have to make lasers though that's one thing Still, if you're hitting like a 1230 AFS, I still think that's pretty decent. Uh, but yeah, I think at, at this point, our eco should by far be the greatest on our team. Let's double check. Dicardium's still number one. Damn, dude. Dicardium's popping off. Oh, because he's got the fusion up. Right, of course. Because he's, he's got the fusion up. Yeah, that makes total sense. He's basically just been sitting on a on a, uh, on a a big geo for a long time. So AFS timing at 13 minutes. So not bad. It can be improved, but I, I still think this is pretty good. And Dave now taking the island, but at, at this point, like, it's well and truly over, right? Like, he loses that. Um, that early hover fucked me good. Indeed it did, Barbados. Indeed it did. Uh, you, you hate to see it. You hate to see it. But at the same time, you love to see it, don't you? It's, it's one of those things. The lightning tanks are just so good, right? Look at the speed on these guys. 90 movement speed. I don't, is there even a single unit that can catch these that's got legs? Maybe, like, the, the, the tick? Is that... How, how, much, how much speed does a tick have? I feel like it's probably got like 106, 112, something like that. So I, I, I think a tick could catch it, but it's got the lightning, right? Like you, you, it's not happening. It's not happening. So 
that's part of the reason why we looked at, to focus and push through because we knew that if we take out the, their major threat or well, yeah their, their major threat that it's just going to be very very easy from there that the rest of the team should crumple and that was indeed the case uh their back line it doesn't look like we even had an aphis up for their back line just yet we're at the 14 minute mark so i mean we, we've got one coming up but we, our team was well and truly ahead so that's gonna be it ladies and gentlemen not a bad little game hovers you heard it here first they're pretty good on straight anyway we'll catch you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching